what's up no pros welcome back to the channel and today we are unboxing the top mass racing 1 14th scale official licensed product of the ford mustang gt4 burnouts a full function rc control and let's see comes with the controller here as you can see top maz racing 2.4 gigahertz pro system come with your drifting tires get a set of four get your screwdriver here instructions your charger battery that goes in the car your ac adapter comes with a nine volt battery and you also have this little gas container that apparently you fill up with water. They're calling it a water pump, which is this, for drifting performance. You get your realistic burnout sound effects. So you open this guy up here. Which is mimicking a fuel tank. You add water in here, put it in here, squirt the water inside, and I'm assuming water comes out to help you burn out or do a drift. Probably a drift. And we will demonstrate that on the next video. But so far, I'm liking this RC. This was a uh, early birthday gift. Not an early. It was a late birthday gift. It was a birthday gift. It just arrived at late. I just got it today, actually. So what I like so far is the weight of it. It is kind of heavy as compared to those rc drift cars over there it's very heavy not very heavy but it's heavy i like the realistic appear appearance of it you got the tire tread in the tire you got your continental tires logo i like the fact that these side mirrors are rubber so they don't get damaged The attention to detail is just awesome. You have your exhaust sound. Well, not your sound, but your exhaust here. And these lights, they do light up. Your tail lights and your headlights. I wish the fog lights lit, but you can't have everything, right? even have attention to detail inside of the vehicle I don't know if you guys can see that with the glare of the lights but I will do my best to show you but you have the seats front and rear looks like you have all your gauges inside there I mean this this is really nice this is again from top Maz racing uh, this was purchased off of Finger Hut. I will leave the description down in the link below. So, yeah. Um, drift tires here. And you get a set of regular tires for just cruising around. So, uh, let's see if we can get these lights on so I can demonstrate that for you. Stand by. So, putting the vehicle on its side, looking at the undercarriage... You have your alignment here, four screws here, I'm not sure what that is for, but your battery goes here, and that's what the screwdriver is for, on off button there, and I'm assuming when you squirt the water, I guess it comes out either here or somewhere, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure that out once we get into it, but 
let's get this unscrewed, okay? You, you guys really don't need to see this because it's hard to do this and film at the same time, so stand by. Okay, got that guy off. The screw stays in, which is good, so you don't lose that. Not sure if it needs to be charged or not, but let's just go ahead and put it in. Um, the battery is a uh, DC 6.4 volt. Okay, we got that clipped in, and now I'm just going to tuck it in there, screw it back in, and turn it on, see if the lights come on. Okay, one of the tricky parts that I found was getting trying to figure out how to get this battery in here along with the cord there. So if you ever pick this up, that is the way you get the battery in along with the cord so you can get this guy to close screw down and be flush yeah that took me a minute to figure out but I got it okay so that is screwed down that's on there flush um, so far I'm really just digging the overall appearance of this I like the color. I'm not sure if it comes in any more other color. Uh, on the box, it does look like it have a silver color. Or like that gunmetal gray or gray or whatever. Um, you really couldn't request a color. I guess they just send you what they have in stock. So, let's uh, turn this guy on and see if the lights come on. And they do look at that and the fog lights appear to come on as well wow check that out i mean look at the detail let's check it out from the rear oh my bad so the tail lights don't come on but the exhaust lights come on That's kind of strange. I mean, I don't. I'd rather have the tail lights come on versus my exhaust tips being lit. So that's kind of a meh for me. But I mean, it's different. Maybe you'll like it, but yeah, that's not my cup of tea. I'd rather for the tail lights to be lit versus the exhaust. Yeah. I don't know why they did that, but. Yeah, well, let's just see what it looks like with the lights off. So you can ex you can see the exhaust uh, at night, but you can't see the tail lights, which that's kind of backwards to me, but um. Get an idea of what the lights look like in the front there, reflecting off of the box. I'll turn it around so you can see what kind of distance the lights give off if it's on the road. It, it's not going to go super far. I mean, it's bright, but that is cool. Now, the only other thing that I'm trying to figure out is do they continuously flash or is there like a feature on here where you can just have them stay on all the time? Hmm. But yeah, that's that's cool. OK, lights on. Yeah, man. And and if you haven't guessed by now, I, I am a huge Mustang fan, a huge Mustang fan. Um, you can check out my channel over on Sykesville Stangs. I also have a YouTube channel. It's not only about Mustangs. It's about me doing point of view test drives of any vehicle that I can get my hands on. So head on over there and give me a subscribe if you please. I really appreciate your support. And if you're new to this channel, go ahead and give me a subscribe here. It's free. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really would appreciate it. It helps me to uh, stay motivated to do videos 
like these because it lets me know that, hey, I like what you're putting out and uh, I support you. I want to see more. Know what I mean? All right. So moving on, let's get this battery in here. I'm going to turn this off so I don't drain it. And let's just see if we can get a, a taste of uh, the power. Okay, so when you open this guy here, the cover does not come off. So you might want to be careful with that. And also be careful when you unscrew it. Because you don't want to strip those screws. Because that could be a pain. Alright, so let me get the battery in and I'll keep it moving. Okay, we got the long life <laughs> wait, wait what is that some off-brand battery company long life what green long life green cell superpower battery brand okay we'll we'll see how long it lasts okay so from what i've seen after i tightened it down the light came on i don't see and okay it was on so let's just it's great say hope you have an on off switch that would be no bueno but yes it does have a on and off switch and apparently you can get several of these this is ready to run um uh multiplayer looks like up to three rcs at one time so yes, um, what I am going to do uh, is see which one drifts better, this one or those guys over there. Those are from the Fast and Fury series. You can check out that video coming up right now if you choose to. So uh, yeah, let's turn this guy on and um, make some more noise. <laughs> Stand by. And I said all that and I wasn't recording. Okay, so the lights here go off once the controller is on. The tail lights in the back remain on at all times. Okay. I gotta get used to saying this. Not the tail lights, the exhaust lights. The exhaust lights stay on at all times. These lights come on once you go either forward or backward. And I'm on the kitchen table here, so I'm trying to be very, very careful. Uh, what I do like about it is once you stop, it does stop. So as you can see there, as soon as I hit the trigger, the lights come on. Close. Okay, so now let's demonstrate the uh, full throttle. Okay, to demonstrate the full throttle, I have it on. I just used the box that it came with on the on its smaller side here. Um, well, here we go. And it is all-wheel drive. I don't know if I saw that on the box anywhere, but yes, all four-wheel spin. Let's just give it a little throttle. And that's only a quarter of the way. Um, uh, let, let's go halfway. <laughs> I, if I, you should see my face right now. I, I'm, I'm really. I got a light. I got a smile on my face. I'm smirking, again because I'm a Mustang fan. So yeah, don't forget to go over to Sykesville Stangs and uh, subscribe, please. That's half throttle. And remember, I haven't charged it up. This is right out of the box. This is the adapter to charge the battery. And we got the water pump here for 
to help with burnouts. That should be interesting. So stay tuned for that video. That's that's going to be awesome. OK, now full throttle. Wow, that actually sounds good. I can't wait to get it on the road and test it out. So stay tuned for that video. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. I thought it said somewhere about, OK, realistic burnout effect. OK, so maybe we can get some smoke from the tires there. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the uh, real world test of it. Going to do some drifting with this guy. That ought to be cool. Ugh, got some little defects in the paint there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Try to focus. Focus, man. There we go. See a little uh, imperfections in it, but hey. Can't have everything, right? All right, so there you have it. I'm going to charge this guy up, and once the weather gets a little better, we're going to take her out for a test drive. Mustang Sally. Stay tuned. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like, and comment and tell me what you think about this top Maz Racing RC so far. Uh, kids Tech. Um, again, the link is going to be in the description below the Ford Mustang GT4 ready to run right outside the box burnouts full function radio control if you like it the link is in the description below go ahead and grab you one it I got this one from Fingerhut uh, maybe you can find it somewhere cheaper and this was again a birthday gift so thank you to the wife for that and um yeah uh, so before we go off here, you will use this guy here to get the wheels off and then you can stick these wheels on. So tell me in the comments below, would you buy this? Um, would you be interested in trying it out, seeing if you like it? This, I, I think it's going to be really fun. I, I ain't going to lie. This this looks like it's going to be fun. I might, I might have a blast with this. So That's just me. Tell me what y'all think. But stay tuned for that next video. Y'all be easy. Peace.